expect that you will hear evidence about a woman named Alexis Miller. And that is uh, the alleged co conspirator of Mr. Schwartz. Now, conspiracy is that the, uh, that Mr. Strong and Ms. Wright agreed with one another to work together to engage in this promotion and prostitution. And you've also heard about promotion and prostitution. And promotion and prostitution means um, to cause or aid another to commit or engage in prostitution, other than as a patron. Leasing or otherwise permitting a space controlled by the defendant alone or in association with others to be regularly used for prostitution. Owning, controlling, managing, supervising, or otherwise operating in association with a prostitution business. So, um, what we expect you will hear is that Mr. Strong and his wife, who knew one another back in 2010, went to the Kennebunk um, town office and met with Paul Burns, who's the co enforcement officer. And they were looking to get a building permit for 8 York Street in Kennebunk. And they applied for it and were granted this building permit. Um, and part of the permit was for personal services and a dance studio. And you will hear that um, he's right, had a dance studio at this 8 York Street location in Kennebunk. Um, and then Mr. Strong signed on the news. So what you also hear is that at that location, uh, Ms. Wright was, in addition to holding the dance classes, engaging in the uh, crime of engaging in prostitution. And you will learn, we expect, that Mr. Strong was actively engaged in that um, business enterprise. You'll learn that they named the studio together, which was the Pure Vida Studio or Pure Life Studio. That they um, opened an account together, a bank account, some insurance, and talked about their prostitution business by text, by video call, um, through chat, and by email. But the evidence in this case, when all is said and done, if you keep your eye on the ball, will show that he never had sex with anybody for money. That's prostitution, and he's not part of it. So then you'll say, well, OK, then he's a promoter of prostitution, they say. That he's not a prostitute, but that he's helping somebody be one. The evidence in this case will show that he did, in fact, have a relationship with a young woman by the name of Alexis Wright, who's not here and is not being part of this trial. <clears throat> the question is, did he promote prostitution or did he fall in love and have an extramarital affair with a woman, including sex, but not for money, and help her with her life, with not knowingly, intentionally uh, trying to promote prostitution? to try to help a woman be his father. There's no question he did. And you're going to have to decide, did it go over the line? Was it actually a promoter of prostitution? Is it a crime or just simply a bad judgment?